Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing some Among Us nails. So if you want to see how I did these, then just keep on watching. So I'm starting out by sculpting my clear base for these nails. We're going square today, as you know. And I went down to the number 11. I didn't want to go too long, but I didn't want to go too short, so I thought 11 would be just fine. This process is sped up because I have a video about how I sculpt my clear bases. It is about stiletto nails, but that is the general way that I sculpt my clear bases. So I'll put that in the cards in the upper right hand corner so you can check that out. I also sculpted another clear base in my honeycomb video which I will also link in the cards so you can check those out. After I sculpt my bases, I take the forms off and I filed them. I did that off camera but then I'm going to go ahead and apply my black acrylic right after that. acrylic every nail takes worst nightmare I don't know what it was if it was like well I think it was this acrylic brand I don't like glam and glue this I'm sorry y'all it's not it it's not giving anything that it was supposed to have gave it gave absolutely nothing maybe it's just because it's black acrylic I don't know but this was just not fun not enjoyable application that's why I'm only showing you one nail because it was just a no, big no for me. But I did what I had to do, you know? I had to use this acrylic to get what I wanted and I did. Anyway, after I applied the black acrylic, I go ahead and encapsulate and today I actually used crystal clear acrylic from NSI Nails. And I also used their universal monomer. Okay, these are the nails after application. Don't know why I don't have a clip of them after filing, but that's what that is. So this hand painting process is sped up super, super fast. But before I actually get into hand painting the logo, what I did was uh, I drew it with a mechanical pencil so that I had like an outline and that helped so that I wasn't freehanding this. Freehanding this would have been really, really difficult with like keeping the letters like straight and center and all that. So I did that and then I just go in with my white paint. So again, today I'm using my Hella Cute Liner brush from Nails by Dev. This brush was amazing. I was able to get these really thin, crisp lines. And I'll pull up a picture of the logo here so you can see what I'm talking about. This is like in the loading screen when you first open the game. I remember like I was going to go play the game one night and I was like, oh, this would look cool on a nail. Like if the crewmates were just floating in space and <laughs> I made like 3D crewmates and stuff. So that's where this idea came from. I was just playing the game, doing my thing. And yeah, I had to do this idea. I'm using CJP's uh, Hema Free Gel Pot Paint in the shade Snowdrop. I think this is a really good gel for hand painting. It's super thick and I didn't really have to like keep going over it. I feel like with their black one, I do have to go over it multiple times. 
I will say I did have to go over it, but I don't know for some reason it just it wasn't as bad to me as the black gel. This process is sped up really really fast. I didn't want to have you guys sitting here for like 30 minutes, so I sped it up as fast as I could. This took me, I did it over like two days, um, and I think I probably sat in total maybe like five, six hours doing this, super, super tedious, and I had these long nails, so it was really interesting doing this process, but it was really fun. I really challenged myself. I never painted like letters and words before, so it was fun. And it turned out super cool. So after this, we're gonna move on to the 3D crewmates. So I'm using sculpture gel from Yayoge, the same brand that I used in my pie nails video, and what scratch. <laughs> and so I'm starting off by making the dead crewmates. Uh, so like, you know, when you die in a game, your bones just sticking out and your dead body's just laying there until someone finds you. So, I thought I would do that. So I tested out like different ways to do this, but this method worked the best. So I'm starting off by making the bone with white sculpture gel. I start off with, girl, I don't know that name, that part of the bone, but I'm starting with the long part of the bone and then I'm going to do the balls at the top. Jeff, don't laugh. It's not funny, Jeff. Jeffrey, please don't laugh. Okay, this is not funny. This is a serious matter. Anyway, I did that and I had to taper the end of the bone so that it was kind of pointy so I could really stick it in the gel, in the sculpture gel. So here now I'm making the actual body and I'm doing half of the body, so only the legs. And I'm also doing their little pack on the back. So I start by cutting out an area for the legs. And at first I did this on my finger, but it's not very effective on my finger. I eventually bring back that foil on top of the gel uh, bottle. But I cut out a little area for the legs and then I'm going to use a dotting tool and I also do use this exacto knife to kind of carve out the little separation in the legs and like the crotch, you know, got to make it look like the crewmate. So yeah, this is, this was really, really simple. It's, it's almost too simple. So anyone could do this. No skill is required, just a little bit of patience. Once I found where I'm at with the body, then I go ahead and stick the bone right in the middle in their stomach <laughs> so it's sticking out and I leave a little bit of room so you can see that bone. They're dead. Who did it? Where? <laughs> I also wanted to mention I flash cured the bone before I put it in so it was rock hard so that it was literally just like a bone sticking through and then i also i always flash cure just no and you'll know when i flash cure because you'll see that it's more matte than shiny when it's shiny it's not cured and when it's a little bit more matte it's cured i'm always flash curing so after this i'll show you really quickly how i did another dead crewmate and then i'm gonna do one that's alive maybe that one was the imposter i don't know you decide
Now we're doing the pink crewmate. I'm always playing as the pink crewmate. Um, that's my go-to color, and if somebody steals that color, then I go for lime. And if somebody steals lime, then I go for, I think I go for orange. I'm really upset if I don't get pink or lime because I don't really like to be any other color. And I also have a cherry hat. Where are my cherry hat people at? Because cherry hat is the best hat. Okay, anyway, this is a more detailed this is like a really, just is one long clip where I'm showing you how I did this one. I cut out the little space for the legs and I'm really scraping out all the excess with that X-Acto knife. And then I fix up the legs, make them more round. Honestly, this pink one that I did, this was the first uh, full body crewmate that I did and it definitely shows because the purple one that I did after this was a lot better. But this one still looked really good. This one was also really big, but that's okay. But yeah, so now I'm using the dotting tool to clean up the areas and round them out. Because as you know, the crewmates do have sort of rounder legs. They're not, because that kind of looks like a half circle. So I'm trying to make them look more like a rounded rectangle. The purple one, you'll see it looks a lot more accurate to the crewmates. After this, I do their little pack on the side, and then I do um, like their screen, the thing that they see out of. I don't even know what you call that. Their window. Oh no. Anyway, what else can I talk about? Okay, you want to know the worst thing when you're playing Among Us is when you're the imposter and someone says that you vented, but you didn't, and you can't. Like, what are you supposed to say? Like, you can't just say, I didn't vent because they'll believe you and you're still the imposter. So it doesn't even matter what you say because at the end of the day, it's going to show up and say that you are the imposter. That really grinds my gears. That's like the worst thing that somebody could do to you in that game. There's so many more, but... This is about nails. I'm not here to rant about that game. I'm just here to show you how I did these nails. I still really like that game. It's it's only really fun when you're the imposter, honestly. Like, the thrill of, like, you know, K-wording someone and just, like, running away. It's just so funny. Like, I do this evil laugh. And then I run away and I try and fake task, like la la la, like I didn't do anything. And then when someone reports the body, it's like, oh my god, where? Like, who did that? Oh my gosh, what happened? Anyway, I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of this 3D crewmate making, and I'll come back when we finish up the design. applying the 3D crewmates with some McCart bling gel or rhinestone gel. I kind of twisted and turned them and had them upside down to give that illusion that they're flying in space. <laughs>
once that's done, I'm adding some twinkles. These are holographic twinkles. These are from Winland Frost Design, an Etsy shop that I will link for you below. I'm applying them with top coat gel just so that they have something to hold on to and then once I top coat they'll be encapsulated. It was really interesting trying to decide like what I wanted to do for the background because I knew that I wanted to have the dots, like the white dots, but I didn't know if I wanted to add clear hollow glitter or like silver holographic fine glitter, like I didn't know what I wanted to do. but. I just decided to do these twinkles and the dots because I thought that would be the least intimidating and I could stay true to the loading screen and I just thought this would be best. But I do think if there was some clear hollow glitter on top of these that would still look really cool. final result oh my goodness these are just so fun and they're everything to me and I love them I'm so happy that I can put the things that I love on some nails and make them look really cool all right guys thank you so much for watching be sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I post a new video next Thursday thank you bye bye